This video is to show you how to install a brake controller into a 2020 Honda Ridgeline and it's the same for a 2017 Honda Ridgeline. That's where I removed this out of my uh, 2017 Honda Ridgeline and now I need to install it into my 2020. So um, I put the seat all the way back and we'll get underneath here and I'll show you where it's located. Okay, can you see that cable back up in there, right there? That is the cable for the brake controller that goes to the back bumper. So um, I'm going to get my cable. And you'll notice how that is keyed. And there's a key at the very top. And then I'm going to find the key on this cable. And I'm going to adjust my cable. And there we go, it's locked into place. See back there. And now I'm gonna run the cable up underneath here and underneath that cable right there so it doesn't drop down below uh, the dash. And you'll see how that runs back up in there. Over to here. I'll pull down on this just slightly so I can get the cable under there. Okay, I pulled uh, the uh, red backer on this tape off except for one piece. Um, before I mount that, I am going to clean right underneath here with alcohol. I'm going to clean that really good all the way front to the back. Okay, I'm going to give that a second to dry, and I'm going to pull the last one off, and then make sure I have it the right direction, and I'm going to slide underneath here, and find a good place, and then I'm going to stick it. Okay. Give that a second to it here. And then I'm going to take my cable and insert it into my brake controller. And I'll put the back in first. And there, now I can control my brake if I need to manually.
Okay, so I started the car and the uh, brake controller did not come on. Uh, and I remembered from my 2017, it blew the fuse right away when I first plugged it in. Uh, that time it took me about two hours to diagnose and figure out why my brake controller wasn't working. So uh, lesson learned uh, must be a common problem. Uh, and I forgot to mention that your Ridgeline will come with a short uh, brake controller cable um, with open ends that you can uh, hardwire into a brake controller if you have it. Uh, but the cable is so short, um, the only place you can put it is um, near your left knee um, by the emergency brake. It is not a convenient location and I kept banging my knee on it uh, when I first did this. So uh, the cable that I used is was about 32 inches long. Um, and it reaches all the way across underneath the dash steering wheel all the way over to the um, un underneath the uh, console compartment um, but uh, you'll come with a brake controller and they are now including a fuse so it must be a common problem when you first plug that in um, so the fuse is located in the secondary um, fuse box in the engine compartment which is right next to the steering column. The primary is right here. This is your primary fuse box. And I need to get in here because we're gonna need underneath, you'll see the little tool to remove, um, remove the fuse. And I'm betting this is the same problem I had before. So let's So we'll remove that and take a look in here, if I remember right. Okay, so we'll put that, this is the front. So that's pointing to the front. And you'll see trailer brake right there. Sorry, a little bit of a glare. Anyway, it's the... Uh, Actually, it goes this way. <laughs> so the trailer brake is there, right there at the bottom. Um, you'll see. So let's take a look here. And if this is facing the front. So this is the front. So it's going to be the one right there. Right there on the end. So let's take that off and take a look at it. So I pulled it out. I uh, can't tell like that. Let's take a look. Oh yeah, that's definitely blown. You can't see it on the camera, but uh, it's definitely blown. So let's get the replacement out of the bag here. And uh, I'll put this over here. Okay, so the fuse in the bag was slightly different. Um, this is the fuse that blew, and this is the fuse that was in the bag. It does work, it goes in there, it just doesn't go down all the way uh, like this other fuse does. In your fuse box, um, in your main fuse box uh, cover, there are fuses, uh, spare fuses. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and use this one even though it sticks up just a little bit. And let's put that in there. There you go. And it does stick up a little bit. You can see that, I think. Um, but it's fine. It's, it's not going to cause any damage. So, and then uh, let's go check the brake controller. Make sure that it, that it now works. And it does. So there we go. Looks good, I'm ready for towing.
Thanks for watching this video.